Have you ever tried brown sugar boba ice cream bars? Bubble tea lovers are going crazy over these new frozen treats. They feature a delicious combination of creamy ice cream and chewy bubble tea pearls. I've bought them from Asian grocery stores, but they're so expensive if available at all. Today, we'll show you all the tips and tricks for making them at home. Before we get started, make sure to get some glutinous rice flour, which can be ordered online. The package is easy to recognize by the green text on the label. First, we'll make brown sugar syrup. This creates the signature marbling on the boba ice cream bars. Add the brown sugar and water to a saucepan. Then cook until the water boils, dissolving the sugar completely. Next, mix the cornstarch with water in a small cup to make a slurry. Pour it into the saucepan and cook until the syrup thickens. Remove from the heat and cool slightly before pouring into a squeeze bottle. Then let it cool to room temperature. Now let's move on to the most exciting part of this recipe, the boba pearls. Add glutinous rice flour, brown sugar, and boiling water to a large bowl. Mix until combined. Then transfer the dough to a flat surface. Knead until a spongy dough. Pinch off a piece of dough and roll it into a small ball, about a quarter inch in diameter. Repeat the process for the rest of the dough. To prevent the balls from sticking to each other, line the baking sheet with parchment paper. Dust with glutinous flour and spread out the boba balls. This is the most time consuming part, so you can get your kids involved. They'll love it. Then bring water to a boil in a saucepan. Add the balls and cook until they float to the surface and become soft. It takes about two to three minutes. Use a slotted spoon to remove cooked boba pearls from the water. In a skillet over medium heat, add brown sugar and the cooked boba to the pot. Mix until the balls are evenly coated with sugar. Transfer the boba pearls to a plate and try to spread them into a single layer so they cool down quickly. Now let's make the ice cream. All you need is heavy cream and condensed milk. First beat the heavy cream until soft peaks form. Then add the condensed milk and continue beating until everything's well combined. Next, add the brown sugar coated boba balls to the ice cream mixture. Mix well and make sure the balls are evenly distributed throughout. Now let's assemble the boba ice cream bars in a popsicle mold. First, squeeze the brown sugar syrup into the mold. It's best to spread it around the top so the syrup doesn't accumulate at the bottom. Then, add the ice cream and boba mixture to a zip top bag. Cut the corner of the bag and pipe the mixture into the popsicle mold. Don't forget to tap the mold several times on the work surface to release any trapped air. Place in the freezer for six hours or overnight. 
To unmold the popsicles, you can fill a container with warm water. Then briefly dip the mold in it until the popsicles loosen. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds. Then remove the mold from the water immediately. Now you are armed with all the knowledge you need to make the perfect boba ice cream bars. Happy cooking!